guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Iba Wamboi back at it again with another video. Karibu Nisana, if you are new here, feel at home. We love you, we celebrate you, we thank you for joining us, and uh, I just want us to have a recap of last week's video. And I have a comment here from one of you who is a super fan because she comments on all my videos and i'm just so excited so she uses the name words and pictures and so the question is it would be great to see a video on how you see you set the budget calculations in google sheets even if you do it using fake numbers certain calculations just feel overwhelming for me thank you for that i will definitely do a video on that but the, the interesting part of, you know, that question is leading us to our video for today. Also, perhaps a video on how you found your house, tips you can offer, and tips of living peacefully and safely alone as a single woman. So, I'm not sure what you mean by single woman, whether it is single, um, like, alone, like, I'm alone, like, I'm alone in the house <laughs> or single probably you know are you in a i mean are you married you know something like that but anyway i think i think i i understand uh the question a video of how you found your house and tips you can offer and tips of living peacefully and safely alone as a single woman i'm assuming probably living alone like i am living alone so guys, I uh, thank you for that and that will be the basis of our video today, how I found my house. And I will start with that part and then I will proceed to the second part of the question um, later on in a few minutes. So straight to the point, how did I find my house? And so um, if you have watched, um, I think that my first video of this year, um, you know, it was just... Um, like an introduction video to this year i say that i found a house and um immediately like I, I got back into the country i was in a time crunch i needed to get a house as soon as possible because i was starting work as soon no sooner had i landed than <laughs> i i needed to get to work and so i had to look for a house um so quickly and just to give a recap for those who may be new here and haven't watched um the rest of the videos i was living abroad for about five months um from uh, about uh, from july towards the end of july last year up until january like the first week of january i was living abroad and so i came back uh to kenya uh to pursue uh my passions and my dreams and you know just pursuing my purpose and so if you'd like to know more about that i have done lots <laughs> lots of videos concerning that season of my life as it were and so kindly go check that out if that interests you but anyway how did i find my house i have explained this so that you can be able to understand where i am coming from with this video so i come back into the country and i have a week or rather i had given myself a week to settle um, back in Kenya because I was starting work a week after I landed and so for me settling meant I have a house I have bought everything that I needed and I am ready to start work because that is how my brain works I always like just being in control of the situation um, and I, I like I like being settled like it would give me it would give me so much peace knowing that everything is aligned i i have a house i have settled and now i'm going to work so yes and so i had a week to do all of this so what happened is i remember um immediately like i came like i was on the lookout for houses and my and going uh with my cousins and my friend um to look for a house immediately that i came and uh, so first of all um what led me to even look for that house in the particular area that I was looking at is I, I I found out where where I will be best in the offices where I will be and so for me I needed a place that was close to my place of work and um, I love convenience so much like if I would get a place that I can walk to like in the morning <laughs> like if i live like as as close as that to my place of work such that i can walk to or i'm just using one one vehicle uh, to go that is an a plus for me and so i was looking for houses around the area where i was working 
and where that was we spent the whole day looking for houses and it was just random we actually said okay let's go look for a house today and we went and uh, we we're just looking at the various places um, around where I was I was supposed to start working from and you know going asking you know uh, apartment by apartment estates you know like are there vacant houses if there are yes we we get into the houses we see and what hey <laughs> I think that day was very disappointing because like I had in my mind what I wanted and I had sort of like an, a, a, a budget that I was working with, but I was not getting what I wanted. Um, like for my budget, I was getting like really, really small houses. And do I even call it? Yeah, they are houses, but you know, they were like, you know, bed sitters and some were even single houses for like the budget that I had. And it's because of the area that I was looking at. And we were like, yeah, this this amount of money is fetching me such a small house um, in this area. Whereas I know that if I was to go like further away, you know, from like the town centers, like I would get like a very good house and a very big house for the budget that I had. And so uh, it was kind of disappointing on that day. Uh, we found houses, yes, but they did not satisfy me and they were not what I really wanted um, for the kind of life that I was hoping to live. And so I would say for that first day, it wasn't fruitful. And so, you know, like when you, you've come back from home, everybody wants to meet you. So, of course, I'm still hanging out with friends. So we didn't go back to looking for houses like um, um, like with my cousins on that day. And then I happened to watch a video on YouTube on uh, one of the YouTubers here in Kenya, Kate Candy, and she mentioned uh, a certain agent that um, she had used to look for where she lived. And I was like, you know what, let me go check it out on, you know, on Instagram. I go check out this agent and I see like the house, some of the houses that he had put online were in the areas that I was looking at um who was looking i was looking for houses in and so what i did i remember it was a thursday morning it was just a few days after i had come i, I had gone to visit my aunties and it was in the morning i was with my cousin uh, at my aunties and i i remember going to instagram looking at the houses and you know i was like you know what let me just call this person and find out um whether he knows or he you know he can connect me to somewhere that i can find a house in that area so i call this person and he says yeah we have you know we have a variety of houses and this and this is the, the budget um i asked him you know can i come and check out today he said yeah yeah yeah, come here yeah. when you get here he directed me to where i was supposed to go just give me a call me and my cousin we just took showers quickly and we left and we went to look for the houses so now when i was looking for the house and i hope i'm answering this question as i need i need to answer it how i found my house uh, for me i number one was convenience convenience in the sense that um i wanted a place where i can easily go to work um i didn't want to have to use two or three vehicles like connecting to go to work so i just needed a place that was direct i'm getting into one matatu one public vehicle it will take me to work and in the evening it brings me back home like i don't want to deal with connecting like two or three matatus or using motorbikes or using tuk-tuks so that was number one for me number two i was looking for a place that is comfortable for me like i could see myself growing you know like when you get into a house and you're like hey this this place is nice like i wanted when i come back from home at the end of the day I feel good because this is your place. This is your home. I wanted to feel like, okay, I can't wait to go back home and just relax on my bed and just cook myself a meal and just chill. Yes. So I was looking for what is comfortable for me. And then number three was what is affordable for me. And so, of course, when we went to look for the houses, we saw a couple of houses, um, you know, the location matters where the location is. Uh, there's one house that was quite interior, like it was from the main road up to the house. Like it was a very long distance, a couple of kilometers just walking, maybe how many kilometers, maybe two or three just walking. And um, is that too much? I don't know. But also in terms of like accessibility, in terms of like are there public vehicles there? I think they, they get to a certain point and they don't go to, they don't get. So when you get there, you have to walk to 
to go to where your house is and so i was like no that was not it for me but also the budget was quite high for my liking and the layout of the house it was a big house but it didn't know it it didn't make me happy and so eventually cut the long story short we found uh, this amazing place um that hit all my boxes in terms of convenience uh going to work matatus literally camp outside uh the camp outside the the building and so when i'm going to work in the morning i just go downstairs and i just have to walk like maybe like less than 100 like less than 50 meters honestly to get to where the matatus are and in the evening when i'm getting back home then the matatus like they just leave me they drop me just outside uh, the apartment building that i live in so that was a plus for me the place is very comfortable like when i get home from work i'm like you know what I just love this place um it is beautiful also i was looking at um you know like the the finishes in the house um not like fancy but also i didn't want like old paint <laughs> old paint actually when i got in i requested them to like paint over um some fresh paint over it and which they gladly did at no cost so that is good for me and also it was affordable um according to my budget so now the how how i was looking at you know my budget is that i was i usually combine my personally i usually combine like my rent and my transport like it has to make sense so you know i i it, it, i i got to a point where i was like okay probably my house is probably a little bit higher than what i had budgeted for initially but when i'm looking at the transport i am um, i'm using going to work and back it is actually very little as compared to finding a place that is a bit um further out maybe out of this like not close to where i'm working um probably if it was a place that is maybe prob probably more than probably maybe 20 kilometers away and then when you do your match you could find like a cheaper house like you could find a cheaper house that is probably maybe three thousand less than what you're paying right now but the transport your the transport that you will use in a month to get you from that place to your place of work combining to the transport is equal to what i am paying right now for rent and my transport like going to work mind you wherever i'm living right now and i'm just using an example mind you wherever i'm living right now hey right wow like now, right now is very close to my place of work and so i don't use a lot of uh, money on transport but the opposite is living a bit further out paying less rent but the money that you'll spend on the road um when you add your rent and your and your transport it's equal to what i'm spending if i'm living a bit closer together with my transport and so that was like that was like my final um how would i put it like that that is what helped me to decide on the house that i want to take um do i get the one that is closer to my workplace it's a bit higher but transport i'm spending a very little amount of money as compared to living further out um paying cheaper but the transport is a bit high and then you probably have to connect two vehicles maybe when you get to the when you get to your place or to your town you have to either get a tuk-tuk or you have to get a motorbike now to go to your house that i did the math and for me um it made sense to you know live like where i am living right now and so that is how like i was able to settle on this place is it convenient in terms of transport in terms of accessibility in terms of can i get to work easily yes i do not have to wake up like very early to leave so early so that i can you know beat traffic so that i can um so that i can you know like get a car so that you know i can connect i'm going i'm going i have, I have to connect two or three different cars i do not have to do that and it is a comfortable place like i'm happy you know that i'm i am here that when i get home i feel that this is my place this is my home it makes me feel good but also it was affordable in that sense as i have explained it made sense for me and um those were the, like the three main things that I was looking at when, you know, uh, looking for a house. And it, I, with all this, I do not mean to say that I got the perfect house because, first of all, I live next to the road. And so that means that there is noise 24-7. Uh, good thing is I am a deep sleeper 
and so I do not usually hear the noise um, but also yes uh, there is noise I'm live next to the road so there is noise and also I live in sort of it's like a, a town it's a town and so that means there's a lot of activity going on you know there are various you know in terms of noise there are uh, I would say maybe churches around um, I would say mosques around I would say you know a few restaurants here and there and so it gets a bit crazy on Friday night and also on Sunday morning not that I'm against anything but you know sometimes when you're in your house you just want your peace um sometimes you want to sleep in but because of the noise um from outside then you're not able to cherish the peace that the peace of well, the peace that you desire but um other than that i love the place um it's very comfortable and um, yes, I love it. One other thing that I wanted to mention is that actually we were just talking about it with uh, uh, my family yesterday, uh, some of my family yesterday, um, is that I was, I saw this house, like I was on Facebook and then I saw this like house, like next to where I live. And then next to like, uh, not very next, but a bit closer to where I live right now. And it, it appeared to be a bit lesser than what I paid. And then I was like, you know what, you know, let me just find out where this house is. And I was free. So I thought that, you know, if, 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 you know, the person showing the house is available, then I could go and look at the house and, you know, just compare. And then, so I called this lady and I call them and he's like, okay, she's like, okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. The house it's in this area. Let me give you the number of, um, the, the owner of the house and then you can be able to talk to him and you can be able to plan how you can go and see the house so he gave me that she gave me the number and then i called the owner of the house and the owner of the house this man i'm like i tell him yo you know what i'm interested in this house can you tell me where it is i'd like to come and see it and if i'm interested you know i could i could i could consider it and then this man is like um uh, okay yeah you know what i'm just from showing uh, another lady this house and she's very interested she has just gone to deposit the money in my account mm -hmm. but if you I bet she said he said if you're interested what you can do is you can pay a deposit and then i will stop this lady from from uh from paying for the house and i was like you know I, I just want to see the house i'm really interested i want to see the house but there's no way i can pay deposit before seeing the house like where are you like i can come where you are i want to see the house and he's like you know what your man in Nakwambia, you know he was speaking in swahili that you know this lady he she she has just gone to she's going to to deposit that money and so if you give me a deposit right now i will stop her from from paying for that house and i'm like no 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 there's no way that i can i can pay for a house without seeing the house and he's like okay sawa um let me call you later at about 2 p.m and if the lady will not have deposited this money then i will tell you to i will i will i will i will ask you to come in and look at the house but anyway in short do not ever pay deposit uh for a house that you have not seen because there are con people who are cons out there they just want your money they are they use tactics to get you to lure you into you know uh, into you know parting ways with your money and then for instance if i had paid that money if i was uh if i was if i didn't like if i if if i hadn't you know if i was like you know and sometimes sometimes you're desperate sometimes you're desperate you you need a house and you find this house it looks so good and you just give them the benefit of doubt and you pay and you pay that money and then after that those guys disappear like you try call them you cannot get to them it will turn out that that house was you know it was i mean it was a scam they were just coming you and this is something that has been going on and so never deposit a money for a house that you have not seen make sure that you go see it make sure that you talk to the agent who is um in charge of the house or the landlord or the owner of the house before paying for any house so eventually i did not even wait for the 2 p.m call i blocked them because i knew that these people are just trying to to con to con me and so yes so that's a tip when looking for houses and then one other thing about using agents because i used an agent like to 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 look for a house and the good thing about using an agent is that they will show you like several houses and then you get to decide and then you get to because of course you have to pay for that agent fee you will only pay or rather i i do not know whether that applies to all agents but for the the person that i used 
I only paid for, you know, that money that for showing that house for the houses, you know, he will take you around and this guy had a car. So we were moving past, you know, different houses, you know, very quickly. You only pay for that agency, that agent fee. You only pay it after seeing the houses. And so that's a good thing. At least it's value for money. You're not like paying for something that you do not know whether you will receive it or not. And so to answer that first part of that question on how I found my house, I used an agent and the things that I was looking for was convenience, was uh, comfortability, but also affordability. And something else that I will mention in the second part of the question. So the second part of the question is, let me just, uh, um, tips you can offer and tips of living peacefully and safely alone as a single woman. Peacefully and safely alone as a single woman. I think what, I, as a safe, as a single woman. Okay, let me just answer how, let me just answer how I, I feel like, the question is asking me to <laughs> um, in terms of living peacefully and safely i think one important thing to look at is security when you're looking for a house you want to to be in a place that you feel secure and me i am scared of you know shady shady places like you know not shady in that's probably i don't know if i put it correctly shady in the sense that where i do not see life like i, I was answering uh shady in the sense of um there's no life like all i can see is just bushes you know i can see you know there are no buildings around there are no shops around that would really scare me because you know sometimes when you you get back home late at least you want to see people walking on the road you do not want to just see darkness and no light and no people so security in that sense for me what's important is you know being in a secure place okay obviously you know does where you're living do you have security is there a gate is there um a security guard um um provided for that estate or that building so that's important for me but also community just like being in a community it's not like an excluded building that is you know it's it's on its own like there are no people around <laughs> there are no like other buildings around so i was also looking uh for that and uh, it, it, it feels peaceful when you know that you can hear your neighbor <laughs> you can hear your neighbor like right now like as I'm shooting this I can literally hear my neighbors on the opposite side and so it feels good that you know you're not alone um, you're not alone in that building uh, but also another way to answer this question is that um, like you, you're living alone like how does that feel like you do you feel like you're scared because you're alone or probably you've just moved out from your parents house and now you're living alone like how is how is that for you how is that experience for you so one thing that really helped me is that and i have done a couple of videos on this that is that i lived with a roommate um for some time uh last year and so living with a roommate sort of helped me to transition into living alone now that i am living alone um you know you it's it, it you have to you grow into your own person like it right now okay <laughs> i hope i am answering this correctly but um i feel confident like to be alone because it's something that first of all i have looked forward to for you know like since i was in campus i was like you know i cannot wait to just have my own freedom i cannot wait to 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 discover myself on my own you know you you when you're living alone you are your own boss you are your own person you get home from work and you know you have to decide what are you gonna cook today um you have to decide okay it's time to do my laundry it's time to clean my house you know these windows are dirty you know i have to wash them and things like that it matures you into becoming your own person um when you're with your parents or when you're living with a, a guardian or when you're living um, alone, sometimes some of the some of the daily activities, you know, that go on in the running of, of a home are are either split between you and the other person. And you do not have to really uh, like you, I mean you you only have to worry about what is what has been tasked to you like when you're at home when you're at home at your parents house like 
more often than not you will do what you have been tasked tasked with you know um probably you probably have a house manager at your place i don't know but you'd find that they would do like a lot of the work maybe what you do is just a, a small bit of it maybe taking care of your room maybe helping out here and there with the chores in the house but when you are alone like it matures you into becoming your own person you become an independent person because there's no one who is gonna tell you to clean your dishes to 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 change i mean to to clean your laundry to wipe your dirty surfaces your table your your your, your windows your doors and and everything like that and so living living with a roommate helps me to transition into that because i mean of course when you're living with a roommate then you're dividing some responsibilities you're dividing um you know the things that you need to do around the house it also just gives you that you know sense of community it could be your friend it could be your sister your brother um whoever it could be but now living alone is you become your own person i think i i have said this a couple of i mean i've just repeated it so many times you become your own person you get to know you at a deeper level you get to know what you like you know you get to know that you know i i i particularly do not enjoy cooking putting ginger ginger in my food or i do not like using black pepper or whatever um so it makes you your own person whereas when you were maybe at your parents house you ate uh, what was there because that was there but when you're living alone you're able to make your decisions you're able to know what you like you're able to do what you want um so it gives you that sense of freedom um which is good uh but it should be guided <laughs> it should be guided it shouldn't be it should not be freedom that is that is not acceptable yeah for lack of a better word uh but anyway um living peacefully alone you have to get to there's a stage that you get as as an individual where you feel like you want to just have your space to get to know more about yourself to get to know how you react to certain things to get to know how you handle different things and so that is something that everybody it is inevitable you will get to that point where you just want to feel uh you want to have your own space and especially mostly when you are going through a transition period and probably you're preparing for something for instance somebody who intends to get married um like in a year or so then living alone sort of prepares you for that you know that kind of commitment that is eventually going to come when now you're living with your husband or your wife you're able to know the things you like you're able to know yourself the point is you're able to know you <laughs> so and so how do you live peacefully and and safely as a single woman um in terms of security like just find a place that offers you the security that you need that you f- you feel like you're not scared of like going to your house like you have community around you but also talking to people sharing with people like your friends your, your your tribe you know the people who your family like always being in touch with them and don't be a loner don't be a loner when you are on your own like get in touch with your family get in touch with your friends get in touch with your in a circle share your insecurities share your fears share your your joy share your your your, your praise um testimonies and all that like do it being alone does not necessarily mean that you have detached yourself from the world the world is still going and the world needs you and you need the world and so maintain the relationships that you had invite people invite people have housewarming um parties in your house invite your friends to come over for sleepovers and pr- people make the house feel warm and um it's 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 just good it's just good to you know like have people around um it's just good to to have your own space you know uh times you to get to know yourself to get to learn more about yourself and um yeah i think right now i am just rambling <laughs> but i do hope that i have answered your question uh words and pictures uh just to repeat uh tips you can offer and tips of living peacefully and safely alone as a single woman yeah i think i think i've answered um uh, as much as i can um with this video and if i haven't please drop down um 
uh, a question on the comment section i'll be very more than happy to answer uh, whatever questions that you have and to everyone here you know is there something out of this video that has really caught you is that something that has really you you have felt like wow this is re this is really insightful do tell me on the comment section and let us have you know an amazing engagement together and you have questions related to what we have talked about today or you know videos that i have done previously sorry please uh put them down in the comment section let us engage together i will ensure that i will answer them in the videos to come and i'm really happy that you're here and that you are watching um this video thank you thank you so much i really appreciate you remember to, to subscribe to this video if you haven't subscribed uh, to this channel miss eva wamboy remember to be the best version of yourself every day show up every day uh build that discipline every day be committed to your to your purpose be committed to um your work be committed to whatever you are doing on a single day be the best version of yourself and remember that god god loves you and thrive and not just survive bye bye mm -hmm.